I would like to congratulate my fellow laureates on the award of the 2023 prizes. I am personally deeply honored to share the Life Science Prize, prize with two of my former colleagues. I would like to express my gratitude for the nomination and for this prestigious recognition of our research by the WLA Selection Committee. Given the credentials of the members of the World Laureates Association, I cannot think of a higher accolade. I would like to acknowledge that I had excellent mentors when I was a student. They were Michael Rossman at Purdue, Tom Stites and Fred Richards at Yale, and Aaron Klug at the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology. Sir Aaron allowed me to tackle the nucleosome structure in the first place. I was privileged not only to work with them, but also to have them as my friends. Their support, encouragement, and guidance were invaluable. I was also fortunate to have exceedingly talented graduate and postdoctoral students join me in my laboratory, first at the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, and then at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, the ETH, in Zurich. They shared my curiosity about chromatin and gene regulation and were willing to work tirelessly to achieve our results. They learned as I did that creativity and hard work are not all that is required for success. Success in groundbreaking research also requires a great deal of patience and perseverance. I would also like to thank the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and the Swiss National Science Foundation for their generous and stable support of my laboratory. The nucleosome structure has not yet led to a breakthrough in medicine or other applied sciences, at least as far as I know. However, its impact is indicated by its perpetual inclusion in biology textbooks of all sorts and by the considerable number of citations it has received in the scientific literature. The structure and associated biological materials have enabled abundant further studies on processes within the cell nuclei. Both the structure and materials have withstood the scrutiny of further research for over two decades. Finally, Thank you again for this incredible honor, which means the most to me coming from an association that actively promotes scientific research as an international endeavor, transcending national boundaries and diverse cultures. Thank you.